Today, I am finally, finally posting a video again. Um, I know it has been just about forever, but I was having some technical issues. My videos were not really... I couldn't get them to work. I couldn't get anything to work. It was really messed up. I tried posting a video um, a few weeks ago, and it didn't work. It just got like really messed up. I hope none of you saw that. Um, it's, it really wasn't working, but we finally fixed everything. So I'm working on finishing this video right now, so it can be up really, really soon. You guys can see it, and I will hopefully be back to uploading fairly regularly. Um, this video is just a DIY distress boy DIY. I said that weird. I have trouble saying DIY. I don't know why. Huh? <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, so it's a DIY <clears throat> distress boyfriend jeans video and also how I style them. So I just show you guys my distressing process and then I show you three outfits I'm pretty sure that I like with my boyfriend jeans. Um, for the boyfriend jeans, I just got a pair of jeans. I bought most of my jeans at Delia's, honestly, because they just, I like the way they fit me. And I'm really, really tiny. I'm very short, and I also have a very, like, tiny build. My bones are, like, miniature. Um, <laughs> but, so I wear double zero, and so I just got a zero in jeans, just a size up of the same jeans I would normally get. Um, so they're a little looser in the leg, which is the boyfriend look, and I normally just cuff them. So I would just going to a store where you like the jeans a lot, um, or just anywhere, it doesn't really matter, um, and trying on jeans that would, you normally wouldn't get because they'd be a little bigger on you. Um, yeah, and I usually try mine with a belt just to make sure that they fit in the hips and butt fine and stuff. Um, and also to distress them, you will need some sandpaper. Um, I'm not a sandpaper expert or anything, I just grab some from my garage, but I do know that you need a sort of, you don't want a really fine grit, but you don't want like the coarsest grit out there. You want a sort of like medium grit that's going to help you get through the process faster, but not be really, really like coarse and just tear up your jeans completely. Um, and you're also going to need some cardboard to stick under the spot that you're sandpapering so that it doesn't just go all the way through your jeans and you end up having a hole in your butt or something. <laughs> so that's all you're going to need and without further ado, let's just get into me showing you my distressing process. So first go ahead and just pick out your jeans and then what I did was I headed over to Pinterest and looked up distressed boyfriend jeans to get an idea of how I wanted mine to look. After that, you are just going to get your jeans and slide the cardboard under the spot where you're going to sandpaper. And then you're going to take your sandpaper and you just kind of scrub at the spot. And at first, you're going to be tentative. You're going to be nervous that you're going to like mess it up or something. Um, but once you kind of get used to it, you'll like scrub harder and it'll go faster. So don't be discouraged if it's a little slow at first. It also depends on how fine your grain is. Some of them will take longer and some of them will go faster depending on the type of sandpaper you got. Just go ahead and just keep scrubbing at it until it starts to tear. And a lot of jeans, they'll have little blue fuzzies that kind of just come off them as you um, scrape at it. So just pull those off and make sure to wash your jeans after 